Vita and today in the 406 Creative Vibe Studio we're going to learn how to make binding and how to put binding on any project including a quilt. Fold your fabric by the width of the fabric wrong sides together. Using your quilting ruler measure out the width of your binding strips. In this case I was making them two inches wide but normally I make them two and a half inches in width. I measured all four sides of the beetle bag that I was making the binding for and knew that I needed at least two strips of binding. Take your strips of binding and lay them right sides together so that they make what looks like a block on one end. Then sew them diagonally across the two strips. It's good to backstitch a little bit at the beginning and the end and you'll repeat this step for as many strips as you need to for the length of binding that you need for your project. The strips should open up like this. Your quilting ruler is broken up into quarter inch measurements. Use that measurement to line up your ruler with the seam you just sewed attaching your binding pieces. Now you will trim off the excess. Open up the seam and finger press it flat. And if you have a binding tool, you can flip your binding back over to the other side line up your binding tool and cut the end at a diagonal. If you don't have a binding tool, simply use your ruler and cut at an angle on the end. The final step in making our binding is pressing it out and then taking that diagonal end and folding it over about a quarter of an inch and pressing that down. Now take your binding and fold it in half lengthwise, wrong sides together, pressing it along the entire length of the binding. I'm using this binding to trim out my beetle bag project. I'm sewing the binding all the way around the piece. As I come to the end, I'm going to stop about a quarter of an inch before I hit the end of my project, backstitch, Cut the thread, pull it out, fold it back at an angle, and then forward again. Then I'm going to continue sewing down the next side. You will continue this process all the way around your quilt or your project. Each time you come to the end of a side, you're going to stop about a quarter of an inch before the end, backstitch, cut your thread, turn it back at an angle, and then forward again, and then continue sewing. As you approach the spot where you first started sewing your binding on, you're going to lift up that little pocket, cut it straight across, and lay your binding inside and continue to sew. Backstitch at the very end and your binding is complete. Now you'll want to press the binding out nice and flat all the way around your project. If your corners are a little bulky, I suggest trimming them. Then press your binding over the edge of your project or quilt. If you have quilt clips, they're a great way to keep your binding in place until you're ready to top stitch it on your machine or hand stitch it. Either way, you're going to want to press your binding down on the opposite side like I have here. This will hold it nice and flat and in place while you either clip it with the quilt clips or hand stitch it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing and sharing. You can also follow me on Facebook, 
Pinterest and Instagram at 406 Creative Vibe, as well as Sewfly Quilts. Happy sewing and quilting!